Hey, and that is the new game mode for Townstar. By the way, not called Townstar anymore. It's actually called Common World, uh, Common Ground, and the the game mode is called Common Ground World. So maybe that's the one. I ain't forget. So they got this brand new. They got this brand new game mode. They announced this last week. I thought it was crazy. I thought, how can you now? How can you start this new mode when you already got? You already got so many bugs in the original game. Why are you doing this? Well, it turns out they actually have the game out. So apparently they've been working on this for a while because the game, the new game mode is out. Now it's not that different from Townstar. So I can see how it might not have taken a really long time to code. It's pretty much the same game, except you start off with a five by five square. And the, your goal is to remove the other squares in the grid, you know, it's a 64 by 64 grid, so that you're basically reclaiming the soil. So it's kind of an environmentalism thing, which I'm cool with. I don't, I don't care. Um, I'm concerned. I, now I'm starting to see why I think they weren't fixing the bugs that were very persistent or very slow at fixing the bugs that were persistent in Townstar. I think this is because they were working on this new game mode and yeah, they're already short staff, so now they're now they're adding this while trying to keep their original game going. And I I still think this is the wrong move. But I will say I think the game is fun. So here's my two takes on this. Well, let me before I do that, let me show you the game as best I can. It's probably gonna play a really slur warning, but this is it. This is Simon Your Own World. So it's on the game now. I'm gonna keep calling it Town Star, because I'm sorry, I just it's a stupid name. I, I understand it makes sense for the film. It's this is based on a film, by the way. This is based on one of Gala Games uh, documentaries. I have not seen it. Yeah, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with like having the mode be common ground. That's cool. I just think renaming the whole game is like a stupid idea. So we're gonna load it up. Uh, it takes a while to load up the game now because uh, it's persistent. So it's it basically updates when you up. You know when you start it. Wow, that's really taking a lot longer than I expected. It's all set up. I thought, okay, we're in 100%. This won't take too long. Yeah, what are you guys saying? In the meantime, uh, nothing new. Okay, that's fine. You got a jump here. Oh, what? All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. So, so this section that I my cursor is pointing on. I assume you can see it. If you can't, it's five by five. And so everything else I've uncovered and built. And unlike the original Town Star, nothing costs anything. So you can see zero, zero cost. So it's not a cash flow game like the other one. But the goal is just to make money and then clear off these tiles. Now you can see these tiles cost money. This one costs 25 grand to remove. Uh, the spoiled soil costs a little bit more. That one is three hundred and seventy-five thousand. I'm not sure why that one is so much more. That tree costs three million. So some of these, like it, most of them are twenty-five thousand. Oh, some of them are just yeah. Some random ones are just more. Actually, they're get a lot of them are more. So I think the further out you go, the more it costs. So then you have to find new ways to make more expensive products. So I've been doing I've been doing flour. I think I'm going to have to switch to sugar so I can do sugar, milk, and one other thing that makes butter, I can't remember, oh, salt, which is going to be a challenge because there's no salt fields around. And the ones early on, well, actually it might be, I don't really have any water effects. Uh, you can't use the Express Depot. You have to use the regular one. It won't allow it. You can use other ones like I got. This one gives me more. Um, this one gives me more dollars for sale. This is an NFT that I got for some kind of oopsie they made that I don't even remember what it was. And everything's way slower too, by the way. So you can see this is this one. This is, each each of these takes about twenty minutes to craft. Normally it's like the slow version is three and a half, so it's way slower. Uh, so it's a much slower game. I kind of like it as a challenge compared to the original game. So I don't hate it too much. And we'll get into that when I give my my pros and cons of this. But 
Yeah, so overall, I mean, it doesn't look like they had to probably do a whole heck of a lot other than, I mean, there definitely was some coding involved to get the game to operate differently. But it's kind of a, it's kind of a unique challenge for regular town players, which I will get into. I'm going to shut that down. Uh, the sale's really fast. So I want to show you something before I do this, actually. So I'm going to sell some flour. There's no auto sell, by the way. You have to do everything manually. They actually have a timer here to tell you when it's going to return, which the other game mode used to have once upon a time and hasn't had for a while, so. But you can't run out of cash, and because uh, nothing costs anything other than or the, the time, your your labor doesn't cost anything. So if you're at, you can get down to $100, and it's not really, your town's going to keep running no matter what. Which in the other game, it's a cash flow game, you have to keep, which is why I like it. You have to keep, uh, you have to make sure that you have enough Okay, so can I remove any of these? So this one's still 25,000, so I'm going to show you. You hit the 25,000. Then boom, I have more room. I can make my road there. I want to make a cow barn, so that's my next thing. I'm going to make a cow so I can start doing sugar and salt and make some butter to get more money so I can actually clear off more land. Uh, so so I, I, I don't hate it. So I, I don't hate the game. So here's, here's what I'll say about it. I, I like the game mode. I think this is a great, fun challenge for regular town star players, especially if you're in between competitions. By the way, my last competition, I finished 999, which is, I think, pretty good, considering I only have NFTs that I've earned in the game, plus one crappy NFT that I bought simply for to earn on the game, which you can't earn on anymore. Which, by the way, people are really mad about this, and I'm still mad about this. Like, they're, they're wasting their time on this when... And I'm, this is maybe part of the cons. <laughs> I really, I think this is the number one thing that people ask about in the Discord all the time. How can I earn in this game? When is earn coming back? And the answer is, man, basically, who cares? We're doing this instead. So I got a problem with that. The one thing I really have to say that I think is ridiculous is that they they claim that this is going to be a, a game mode for new players to bring new players into the game. I seriously doubt it. I would seriously doubt it. There's no way that the first thing you do is you can do like a couple of things in the game and then you have to wait 20 minutes basically for anything to happen before you earn enough that you can sell products that you can clear off one of the squares. There's no way a new gamer who isn't already familiar with Townstar is going to come in and think, oh, this is really fun. I like this. Let's do more of this. Not going to happen. So, well, I appreciate it. I appreciate having a new game mode. I think it's fun for current players. I just, I don't see this attracting a new player. I do not see it. I mean, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I have a really hard time seeing it. But it is what it is. I still think competition is fun. I don't think it's necessarily fair, but it is what it is. <laughs>